coordinator at the Dole Institute of Politics in Lawrence, Kansas. And does anybody have an inference on who the Dole Institute could be named after? Hmm. How about Robert J. Dole? You are correct. And if I call him Senator Dole or Senator Bob Dole, it is all the same person. <laughs> and uh, here at the Dole Institute, our mission is to promote bipartisanship and civic participation and civil discourse. And we do that three ways here at the Dole Institute. We have over 100 public programs a year, all based on that mission. So we invite journalists and politicians and book authors and researchers to uh, discuss different political and historical topics. And actually our programs are still going on online uh, even through this weird time period. The second part is the museum and we have a museum based on the life of Senator Bob Dole. And here's a picture of him if you've never seen him before. And you need to send him a birthday card because in July he's going to be 97 years old. So currently he's 96 and he lives in Washington, D.C. And so in our museum you can learn about how he grew up in Russell, Kansas, went here to the University of Kansas to KU and played basketball, football, and track, uh, went to serve our country during World War II and was severely injured in April of 1945, right before the end of the war in Italy. And he was injured in the back and the shoulder and he had to go through lots of rehabilitation and hospitals, but he persevered and he continued to serve our country, when, especially when he was elected as uh, to our United States Congress. He was elected to the United States House of Representatives in 1960 and then the Senate in 1968, where he stayed all the way through 1996 when he resigned to run for president of the United States. So all together, over 35 years in Congress. And so you can learn all about uh, his life in our museum. And also when you visit the museum, you can see the world's largest American flag stained glass window. Whoa. <laughs> it has over 900 pieces. It was built when the building was built in 2003. And when we reopen, we're excited to see you. It also reflects onto our marble floor. So that's pretty cool sight to see. But then my absolute favorite part of the Dole Institute is the archives. Do you guys know what the word archive mean? Hmm. Let's think about this. Do you guys ever go to the library? Yeah, well, I kind of like a library except you can't check anything out. <laughs> so when you go to the library and let's say you check out Green Eggs and Ham, the book by Dr. Seuss, do you think that same book is going to be at the library in the next town over? And maybe in another country around the world? Yeah, there's gonna be lots of copies of that book. Well, I said an archive is similar to a library because we keep all of this for a really long time, just like a library, except there's only one of these things. There's no copies. These are all unique individual items. And so behind me, what do you see? Lots and lots of boxes. Yeah. So we have the uh, entire Congressional Archive of Senator Bob Dole, and we also uh, are excited to start getting the archive of Senator Elizabeth Dole. And she is also awesome in her own right. Yes, she is Senator Bob Dole's wife, but she is a leader on her own in uh, women's leadership projects, uh, serving as Secretary of Transportation, Secretary of Labor, President of the Red Cross, Senator from North Carolina, on and on and on. Um, and also ran for President of the United States in the year 2000. <laughs> so we also have her collection here, which uh, I will show you in just a bit. So we're talking about what an archive is. We have all these boxes, and I wonder what's inside these boxes. And there's gonna be lots of folders and lots of pieces of paper. So let's go check it out. So here is the aisle that I was standing in previously. And you can see we have lots and lots of boxes. And on these end caps, it gives us the collection type. So we have constituent letters, legislative, 
just goes on and on and on schedules appointment logs leadership files when he was majority minority leader of the senate presidential campaign papers speeches scrapbooks over 25,000 photographs and if you were to line up all of these boxes end to end they reach about three and a half football fields whoa that's a lot of paper and each of these are also organized in acid-free boxes and folders and so we want to keep this material for a really long time and in this room which we call the stacks it is about 65 degrees fahrenheit and about 50 percent humidity as those are the optimum conditions for keeping all this material for a really long time so that's very important to us i also mentioned that we have senator elizabeth dole's files and here are her secretary of transportation papers and we hope to be opening up some of her other collections uh, in the coming years. And here we have a bunch of objects. And you can see we have a variety of materials here with sports memorabilia, political jokes, gifts from other countries, tea sets, caps, t-shirts, banners, plaques, awards. These are the exercise pulleys Senator Dole used to exercise on after his World War II injury. And even some Halloween masks. <laughs> and I also wanted to direct your attention to here of pins and brooches and medallions, challenge coins, and everything has a number associated with it, with its location and condition and maybe some information about the object. What do you observe? What do you see? I see a Jayhawk and a sunflower and an American flag. And then this is actually my favorite drawer whole bunch of campaign buttons. So campaign buttons are pins that we wear on our shirts to support our candidate. And as Senator Dole was in Congress for over 35 years, he had quite a few campaigns and elections to run for. Run Bob Run. See this one, Dole 88. They actually wanted Senator Bob and Elizabeth to run together. Here's one of my favorites, Bob's my boy. So a lot of choices. We have about four full drawers of buttons here at the Dole Archives. And then here we also, oh, it's Senator Dole. <laughs> These are actually cardboard cutouts. We have a young Bob Dole at his high school fashion review on the far right. To his right is 1960, uh, newly elected U.S. House, uh, U.S. Representative. 1996 and the 2000s Dole. And as we turn here, here's just an example of some of our objects. Some of them are in boxes, some of them are on the shelves. Groundbreaking shovels, fraternity paddles, Hungarian tea sets, Russian nesting dolls. Uh, at the end is a whole bunch of framed materials, whether they are awards or pieces of art. And lots of flags and blankets and hats. We even have Leader of the Dogs, Dog Dish up there, Senator Dole's Dog Leader, who you may have heard of. He was pretty famous in the 80s. And our large objects. What animal do you see the most? We have a lot of elephants in here. 
Anybody know why there's so many elephants in the room? Hmm. Maybe it has something to do with the Republican Party mascot. We have a lot of elephants here. So now that we've seen Senator Dole's archive, I want you to think about what you would put in your archive. Hmm, what's important to you? Now, maybe you're an adult that has accumulated lots of things over your life, or maybe you're a kid in school. Maybe you're in, let's say, fourth grade. And what do you think you want to remember from fourth grade that you should put in your archive? Hmm. Should we put some homework assignments in there? Or your grade card? I bet your teacher might like that. <laughs> what else is important? Maybe we should take some photographs of you, especially during this year. Uh, maybe you're involved in some sports. Maybe we can put some sports trophies in there, participation ribbons. Ooh, and art projects. We want to remember all this great stuff. Now imagine if you saved all the stuff from fourth grade and added to it in fifth grade and sixth grade and seventh grade, eighth grade, all the way through high school and you labeled everything and you organized it. You think you'd have a pretty awesome archive? Oh yeah. And so that's what we have here in Senator Dole's archive. We keep it all very organized. So it's important to look at archives to understand our history, especially telling the story of Kansas and how we're all part of this community and how it relates to our government and how we live our daily lives. And so Dole Institute celebrates public service and promotes civil discourse and bipartisanship through the legacies of Senators Bob and Elizabeth Dole. And we're really excited to hopefully be open to you uh, in the future. And thanks for joining us today on the Virtual Museum Day KC. Thank you.